in this module we shall spend a little time on the institution of waq and its relevance for islamic banking and finance waqf is uh, an old islamic institution which was primarily used for charitable purposes however over the centuries waqf has evolved into something which is not just about charity or donation or about just doing some good deeds but actually this has become a vehicle for business in fact in islamic society or islamic economy before the advent of the modern corporation the main tool or vehicle for doing business sustainably it was waqf as you know the islamic law of inheritance is applicable to individuals if i have some assets i have a house i have a business if i die today and i have got all these businesses owning to me they are my businesses individually then my death would lead to the distribution of this what would be deemed as an estate in islamic law and would be distributed agar maine bahut bada business banaya hua hai that business would actually get distributed and if my heirs they don't like each other this means that would be the end of the business that used to happen in the early history of islam people they would have their businesses or whatever but upon their death the business would be distributed would be divided into the heirs waqf was devised at that time to protect the businesses so if a business was put into a waqf structure of course i as an individual would cease to exist as its owner however i could be a beneficiary my children could be the beneficiaries other people i nominate in the waqf deed they could be the beneficiaries and in this way once i die the waqf would remain there so this is what i mean by a vehicle for doing business in a sustainable way in modern islamic banking and finance there are structures which are quite close to waqf and they are being used in different transactions spvs in sukuk for example they could be deemed as waqf as well a form of waqf it's not exactly the traditional waqf but it's a trust structure the trust structure gets a lot of implications from the waqf structure in islam trust structure is an english law structure so it's not exactly a waqf but this could be a waqf as well in certain cases waqf based takaful we studied a few days back that is an obvious example of the use of waqf in a modern islamic finance product cash waqf sukuk no cash waqf is a very interesting tool traditionally if i wanted to set up a a waqf i would be buying a piece of land or if i already had a piece of land i would declare this as a waqf and the income from that land would go to the beneficiaries yatimo ko chali gayi ghuraba ko chali gayi whosoever would be the beneficiaries they would receive income from that waqf waqf land 
in modern times, the scholars have come up with this idea of cash work. Now, through a cash work structure, I can put some money into a cash work. And that money can be used to generate Waqf assets. In fact, in a radical view on cash Waqf, I can put my money, the use of this for certain time period in a Waqf with the possibility of getting my money back as well. For example, if I put, if I want to put 1 million rupees into a waqf in such a way that the waqf would invest that money and the return coming from that would be used for the waqf purposes. After 10 years, I get my money back. That is something which is becoming very popular in quite a number of countries, especially in the Far East. Islamic endowments or Islamic awqaf they could be deemed as a very good example for Islamic philanthropy. In fact, promoting Islamic philanthropy through Islamic endowments. In the past, these endowments or awqaf, they were used for developing a lot of infrastructure projects, canals, roads, etc. I think Waqf can be used as an effective tool for developing a number of infrastructure projects in modern Islamic economies.